What do you think we should name your baby brother? Dinkle, uh, dinkle, like the train, 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 train. That's kind of a long name. <laughs> Thirty-seven weeks pregnant day to me. Yay! The baby is too early term and he's ready. If he does get born, it should be okay. Forty weeks is a traditional due date. Basically, it's likely that I will give birth sometime in the next three weeks. You can also go overdue. I've done that before. Then it would be longer than three weeks from now. But I don't know. I don't know what to expect. It is wild weather here in California right now. We're having extreme winds to the point where a lot of places around us are getting the powers just shut down as a precaution because of fire safety. And it's considered like very, very intense fire danger week. Kind of unexpected. Didn't realize like all this excitement would be happening around me right before I'm about to have a baby. But it's gross. <laughs> the weather's really gross. The sky's gross. Like everything was beautiful yesterday and we woke up this morning and looked outside and it's like brown. It's it's out there being windy and yucky. It's just kind of like, all the air is just like very brown and dusty looking, so it's, it's kind of gross. And we are on the way to a doctor appointment right now, so yay, doctor! I'm really excited to see my doctor. I've been a little bit sniffly this week. It could be because of the air quality, so I'm gonna talk to him about that, and I don't know if he's gonna give me a non-stress test, but that might happen. Are you guys excited to go to the doctor? Yeah. Yeah. So a non-stress test means they're just putting monitors on my stomach, listening to his heart rate and seeing him, how much he moves in a certain amount of time. At this point in my pregnancy, I'll be getting one weekly because I'm 36 years old. So when you're over 35 in the United States, they this is like part of the protocol. So you can actually hear in the background there, that's the baby's heartbeat, that sound. And when you hear kind of like whooshy sounds, that's movement. Like you'll hear like a or you make the sound, Christopher, you're probably better at it. <laughs> That's the sound. <laughs> this, I'm not gonna touch it because I don't wanna mess up any readings, but this one measures contractions, and I think maybe movement, but definitely contractions. And then this one has goop under it, and it is measuring the uh, heartbeat, or it's collecting the sounds of the heartbeat. You go through these wires up to this machine here, and the machine, has two different things. This one's contractions and movement, I believe, and then this one's heartbeat. And this piece of paper comes out real slow-like. She gets hooked up to one of these machines when she goes into the labor and delivery department at the hospital, and this machine's going the whole time until she's ready to push. So this, like, hearing this makes me go like, oh yeah, oh wow, all those feelings come back of like going into to the hospital to have the baby. And our kids are being really good in here today. Parker's got a tracing activity that he's doing. Let me see, let me take a look. So each each page has its own tracing paper attached, so he gets to trace these awesome drawings. Bailey's reading a book right here. What book are you reading? It's The Last hum Hunger Games, Mockingjay. Party in my uterus! See, I told you it sounded like that. <laughs> Dr. Duncan in the house over here. Hey, don't play with the equipment. You could go learn to be a doctor and then you can touch that light. But until you do that, that light is off limits. He's head down! Yes! The doctor did an ultrasound just to check to make sure that he's head down. He is. Fantastic news. Non-stress test went great. He's moving around in there, good heart rate. The doctor checked and he said that I am like fingertip dilated, so like nothing too exciting there. He said he doesn't think I'll be having a baby in the next week. I wasn't expecting to anyway, and that's that. We are back home now, and something very exciting just got delivered. It's our new baby car seat and stroller. I'm gonna move this baby out of this box. Me too! Oh my goodness, the moment I have been waiting for. This is something I've been saying I'm not ready for the baby to come yet because we haven't had a car seat. And now today we have a car seat. <laughs> so, yay! So we can have a baby now, Christopher. You ready? No? Is that having the baby? No, <laughs> no, but now I'm like a little less scared of it. 
or like not scared. I feel like a little more ready. Is this car seat gonna put you into labor? No, I'm not. I'm not. I, we talked to the doctor today. He says I'm not going into labor well, this week. Well, that was before you had a car seat. That's true. He didn't know about the car seat. This was my really big stressful purchase of this pregnancy. We have to get a double stroller this time around because Duncan and the baby are gonna be so close in age. The last time that our kids were close in age was Bailey and Jacob. We had a double stroller back in the day that I had bought like secondhand and we just ended up not needing it anymore as the years went on. So now we need one. I'm obviously like so stressed about this purchase as it was because it's like, this is some fancy business. I've never gotten a stroller or a car seat that was this expensive before, but I really wanted a good one because obviously we are out and about a lot and a lot of my friends really recommended this to me. So I was like, all right, okay. Anyway, our previous car seat, which we used for Duncan, it was a brand that I loved with all my past kids and they changed it. The canopy that would go over his head only went a little tiny bit and it drove me bananas. The sun would just be all on his face and we are very pale people. <laughs> very pale babies. That canopy is like so important to me. I decided that with this baby, I just didn't want that frustration anymore. I didn't want to be like upset about it every time I needed to use a canopy. So we're getting a new car seat that works with this whole stroller system. The strollers are systems. They're called travel systems. They're systems. And, and there's like a lot to it and a lot of like, okay, well, if we get this stroller, Oh, I guess we have to get this car seat or if we get this thing, it has to have this thing. Anyway, it's just, there's so many like little pieces you have to connect when you are getting like the car seat and the stroller and, the, and then doubling it and all of it. So I hope I did okay. That was why I was just so stressed doing this. It's like, it's so much money and you don't know how it's gonna work for your family. <laughs> it, this took me a long time, guys. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this was something that I was on the fence about for a long time. I think I'm gonna be really happy with it. it. It comes in like a bunch of different colors and I love the color of the stroller. Like, it's so pretty. That's exciting. Hopefully this serves our family well for the next several years. Okay, so we are definitely still not ready to have the baby. Um, suck it back in. Suck it back in. <laughs> this is such a bummer. The car seat is right, stroller's wrong. There it is. That's where a baby should be going. But it's sold together with the stroller. Yeah, but it's a, a si it's a system. It's like one of those things where I guess it's a store fulfilled, like where Am Amazon's doing it, but it's not like really Amazon. So. Amazon kind of tried to help, but like couldn't. Anyway, it's complicated. It was a, it was a long phone call. And I'm disappointed because the bottom line is it now, even though the car seat is right, we have to send the car seat back. And the shipping for this took a while. And I was like ready to have the baby <laughs> as soon as I unwrapped this car seat. And now I can't have the baby for a while, guys. I'm gonna have to suck this little guy in. I try not to let stuff like this get me down that much, but I'm like, Really sad about it to be very honest and I think part partially it's like hormones and being where I'm at in pregnancy but I now feel like really not prepared and I wanted to feel prepared today I like wanted to have that feeling of like this is done and things are like good to go and, and like just you know, I don't know I was looking forward to this a lot we'll, we'll get it figured out and if you have a baby in the meantime <laughs> We'll figure that out too. I just wanted it to be ready and I wanted to like try it out. I wanted to like set it up and like I wanted everything to be able to, I wanted to get ready. And what if we go through all of this and they send us the wrong thing again? So anyway, this is not ready and that is ultimately okay. It just feels very disappointing in the moment. Christopher's wrapping everything up. I've thought about it. We'll make it work. We always find a way to make everything work and this is small potatoes in the grand scheme of things. It's just a disappointment today, and that's it. Duncan was telling us a story in the car today, and it was so fun hearing him tell a story, and I wanted to make sure we filmed it, because it's so cool. So go for it, dude. Tell me everything. Tell me about your whole day with Grandpa. I go in the pumpkin patch with Grandpa and Uncle Trent. Parker and, 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 and Jacob not here. Ooh, so just you and Grandpa and Uncle Trent? Yeah. Yeah? And how was it? And then Grandpa gave me a pumpkin. <gasps> he did tell me about your pumpkin. <laughs> 
Was it big or little? Little. Yeah? How big? Show me. Uh, like this. That seems pretty big. Yeah. Did you pick it out or did Grandpa? Grandpa. Grandpa? Picked it out for me. That was nice of him. Yay! Did you like the pumpkin patch? Yeah. And then Parker and, and Jacob. Yeah! Now. And then Grandpa and and Uncle Trent come follow me. And then they pick up me. And then with me and Parker and and Jacob go to the pumpkin bed with Grandpa and Uncle Trent. And then Grandpa pick me a little pumpkin like this. Oh, it's a little one. That's a very little pumpkin. Yeah. That's pretty special. It's out my my dad's house. Yeah, it's at our house now. Yeah. Yeah. It's a cool one. It's out my house. Yeah. That was pretty special for Grandpa and Uncle Trent to do that. Yeah. And then Grandpa came. And then Uncle Trent not came. Just Grandpa came. How many times have you been to the pumpkin patch? Um, one, two, four, six, seven, nine. And then Billy go to his rehearsal. Her rehearsal? Yeah. Yeah. What's she doing a rehearsal for? Um, like this. <laughs> That's what she does in a rehearsal? Yeah. That's cool. What's the rehearsal for, though? What is the show called? Well, let it go, do la Yeah? Yeah. Like that. Do you know what Bailey's character's name is? Yeah. What? Uh, Annie. That's right. <laughs> Have you seen her do her rehearsal? Mm -hmm. How is she doing? I'm Dobby. You're Dobby. Dobby's like this. And like this. <laughs> Dobby's like that too. <laughs> sorry, I coughed. I couldn't reach my hand to cover my mouth. I'm sorry. I apologize. You. My hand was stuck under you. And I coughed. Mm. I'm really sorry. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You like this. <laughs> I love that. Oh, you're an excellent Dobby. <laughs> I just love hearing all your stories. You're getting really, really good at telling stories, Duncan. And then... <coughs> Grandpa oh. came. My God, his baby. Oh, he has her baby. Yeah, what do you think of this baby? Um, he got his toothpaste and his... Uh, you gonna go get it? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Who's that for? Um, for the baby. Yeah? Are you excited to share that with your brother? Yeah. What do you think we should name your baby brother? Uh, dinkle, dinkle, like the train, 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 train. That's kind of a long name. <laughs> How would we remember that every day? Yeah. 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 So we'd say, come here, Tanku, 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 the train, train, train. Is that his name? Yeah. yeah. That's kind of a long one. How'd you come up with that? Do you know anybody with that name? Like this. <laughs> like that. So what do you think it's going like, to be like to have a baby in the house? Yeah. And then... He walk, walk, walk. He walk downstairs. Oh yeah. He go downstairs. Yeah. And then walk, walk, walk. <laughs> and then run, run, run. Oh yeah. Did you know when he's born, he won't be able to walk? Jim. Yeah. But we'll <laughs> carry him everywhere. I carry him. You want to carry him? 
Yeah, and then I go downstairs with the new baby. Well, let's let mommy and daddy carry him down the stairs, okay? Okay. Okay. And then we sing. We swing him. Swing, swing. Ooh, swinging him sounds fun. He's swinging in the blanket. Swing, swing. Swing him in the blanket? Yeah. Yeah. Where's his body? It's this whole thing here. It's his body. Where's his face? His face is probably right here. Where's his... Hmm. There's... There's your body. There's my body, yeah. Can I see your baby? No. We have to wait till he's born. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. Are you excited about being a big brother? Bath mm -hmm. time's really, really good. Bath time's really good? Why? What do you like about bath time? Uh, I'm putting soap in it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to sing him a song? Can I sing him? Mickey Mouse in the clubhouse? Sure, go ahead. Mickey Mouse in the clubhouse. Baby, is he singing? Yeah, well he's actually dancing because I can feel him moving. Mickey Mouse in the clubhouse. A tongue. A tongue. Oh, that's fancy. Are you all done? Say goodbye to everybody. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.